Hello Unity game developer and in this one we are going to be taking a look at improving our VR hands and uh, adjusting what we've made in the past to accommodate for a throw. Let's have a look. So in Unity then what I wanted to show you is the current problem that we have. So we have our green cube here which um, you'll be able to get up to speed with this scene if you were following along with the tutorials. Um, but essentially we have our XR rig that's got our right hand and left hand and our right hand has a base controller on, on it with direct interactor that is capable of picking up um, XR grab interactables. Now when we pick this up, um, currently we pick it up and it sticks to our hand so when we try and throw it, it just kind of stops and then will fall. So let's jump into VR and I'll show you what I mean. So here we are, we're in VR. I'm going to reach out my right hand and try and grab this cube. Uh, and that's okay, and I'll do the same with my left. As you can see, with my left hand, I'm just going to let go, or try and even throw the object, and it's just going to stop and fall. I do that with my right hand, see it's working perfectly. That's because I've found the fix for the right hand, I'm now going to show you how to implement it. So for a bit of trial and error and detective work, I managed to find that what was causing it was the, the input actions, and currently we have um, a select, which is our grip, which is controlling our hand animation. Um, and this is causing some problems for when you actually like release stuff and let it go and, it, and it's not um, carrying the velocity forward and making the object appear as if you're, it's being thrown. So what I've done is on the right hand, I've created a grip uh, which works independently of the select, but it, it, it's accessing the, the grip value as before. And instead now our select has gone back to just being the grip button, which is the on or off kind of one or zero sort of thing uh, and our hand script is now using this new action of grip and we're still passing it a value at like normal so I'm going to set it up on the left hand and if you're following along uh, you'll be able to copy it over to the right hand later after we've uh, figured out how it works we're going to go to our left hand we're going to duplicate this grip you see it's gone underneath it's called select one we're going to right click and rename and we're going to call this grip and then our select we're going to put this back to what it was before so we're going to change it to button and we're going to drop it down and we've got grip here at the moment see so we've got the grip left hand xr controller we'll click on there and we are looking for the grip button it's just there and then on our grip we can keep the value um, as the action type and on our grip you can see here we've got grip the left xr controller it's just just duplicated what we already had before but we're just keeping that but our select has now become the grip button and we're passing the action type of button instead of value then you would do exactly the same on the right hand um, as you just on on your left hand you want to make sure you have a select which is mapped to the grip button on the right xr controller and the select is, action type is set to button and then your grip is an action type of value with a control type of axis and we're passing it the grip right XR controller. So once you've got both of those in go ahead and save and then come back out of there you're all done for inside your input actions for the time being and we're going to need to find our VR hands so we we'll navigate to our folder open up our prefabs and you'll see here and the VR hands prefabs, we've got our left hand model and our right hand model where we have our improved hand controller script that we wrote in our previous hand lesson. Uh, we've got two fields here we can um, ass assign. We've got the grip and the trigger. We haven't changed the trigger, that's okay. We're just focusing on the grip and currently we're using the XRI left hand select input action reference. We want to find the new one we've just made, the new grip reference. So we'll click on there and then on our, on our list we'll find XRI left hand grip which is our new one we've just um, we just created and we'll pop it in there and you can see it's assigned itself properly and go ahead and do the one for the right hand mine's already done but you want to do exactly the same as you've just done for the left so let's hop into VR and we'll give this little fix a whirl hop on my old faithful I'm gonna move back a little bit so I'm gonna whack something and uh, let's reset my view there we go a bit closer to my cube so I can reach out, I can pick it up as normal, that's all good. Um, pick it up my left hand, that's okay. It'll drop okay. And now you can see I can throw it as well, which is um, much more um, intuitive and, and realistic. 
doesn't just stick to the hand anymore and fall to the floor. And then also um, using our teleporter that we set up in a previous lesson, you can teleport around still holding this um, holding this cube. Um, and then when you're feeling really um, violent, you can give it a... Oh God. Would help if I didn't throw like a gal. And then in terms of the throw, there are a couple of things we can have a look at which will affect how it's thrown. Um, and we can affect its velocity, uh, which is pretty neat. Because I was throwing it around and I realized that, you know, you've got to put quite a bit of force behind it to actually um, get it moving. But you can control some of these features through the XR Grab Interactable. So where you have um, the throw and detach section, after there you have the throw smooth duration and the throw smoothing curve. But then you also have the throw velocity scale. Um, and if you crank this up to something like, I don't know, let's just test it out, let's try 20. Uh, let's go back into VR. And then we'll pick this up and we'll give it a chuck. <laughs> like I'm Superman. That has gone on distance. So 20 might be too much. Try and guess the weight of like a, a basketball. Let's try like five. Yeah, so you can play around with some of these values uh, and get the kind of weightiness of the object that you're trying to throw. So there we have it. I really hope that video has answered your questions on the throwing. I know a couple of you that are following along had um, some concerns and left some, some questions in the comments about how we could enable the throwing. Um, I think we fixed it. But if you find anything else, then just drop me a line in the comments section below. So hopefully Friday's video is all going to be about um, creating snap objects. I'll see you then.